Here's some modifications you can make to your uh, Dobsonian base if you've got a, a go-to or a slew-to. Um, I see on the 12-inch that they have these side supports right here. We're getting ready to paint them right now. Um, but it helps stiffen up, stiffen up the sides right through here. And uh, the bottom here, as long as you clear, clear the motor and make sure that this clears when the telescope comes all the way through. Um, that really helps. If you cut that just a hair, just a hair shorter, it really stiffens these sides up. And then made a little bushing here. So when you go to slide it down into the dovetail on this side, that keeps it from wanting to go over to the right so that the uh, bolt fits in much easier out in the dark it, it, sometimes it just doesn't want to fit in right off the bat and I don't know if you'll like this but I just put this on the front for uh, the battery pack so that it sits on there and not winds up when you're sluing to um, if you do that you really need to put like a scuba diving a, a little weight right here to counterweight that I think it can handle the extra weight the things really well built all right. This was the top of a creamer can, um, just sanded down and slightly on an angle. So figure out the depth you need between the, the between the side of the telescope and that the gap there, and then you can sand it so that it's uh, really thin on top and wider on the bottom. And the widest spot is when it just barely touches the scope. That way, it'll uh, this is, works like a dovetail too. It just lets it angle in. There, after it's painted, you can hardly tell. Um, you can, but not terrible. You're going to be outside in the dark anyway. So, like I said, I don't know if you're going to want to put this front on. And it's just from wood, you know, that you get. Put a little metal edges around there to help hold it in case you bump it. Take the handle off. You can get this kind of, this little 2 by stock right at Lowe's or any of those stores. Have fun. Clear skies.